dear commanders and dear soldiers. Today marks another important milestone in NATO's ongoing efforts to significantly strengthen our defense and enhance our deterrence on our northeastern flank. During last year's Madrid summit, NATO's members have agreed to deploy additional robust in-place combat-ready forces on our eastern flank to be scaled up from the existing battle groups to brigade-sized units where and when required. Multinational Division Northeast covers the most important ground in all NATO, the Sovalki Corridor. Our all lifeline to the Baltics, which must be kept open at all times under all circumstances. The close cooperation with our US allies is a cornerstone to accomplish this mission. In order to do so, we have to train in peacetime what we may have to execute in war. Our center of gravity to get ready is peacetime. That is why we are here today. We demonstrate swiftly integrating formations into multinational division Northeast. In doing so, we send a strong signal of deterrence towards our peer opponent and assurance to our member nations that we want, we can, and we will defend every inch of NATO's territory against any aggression. I am convinced that we will only be able to provide a credible deterrence if we demonstrate our capacity to deliver on this promise in a time of need. In short, readiness prevents war. If you are not ready, you may invite and you may increase the risk to get a war imposed. Against this background, let me make two things absolutely clear, and we are now beyond academic discussions. Firstly, we must train as we fight. We must train to defeat any enemy. And we must train in order to win and to be victorious, and we will. Secondly, it is you, you soldiers, our great and brave soldiers on the ground, who make the difference. You, we carry the fight. It is you, we soldiers, that turn political intent into reality. It's not the other way around. I am very proud of you. You have my full confidence and my deepest respect. Today's transfer authority of the 2nd U.S. Cavalry Regiment, myself as a cavalry guy as well, so it's a special moment anyway, demonstrates the accountable commitment, the trust and confidence of our U.S. allies in NATO's ability to command and control. By this, we test and enhance our ability to fight together from any day one. We are stronger together. We are NATO. NATO is a unique and indispensable guarantor in the awareness that the sum is significantly greater than its parts. Nobody can do it alone. Thank you very much. Sir, brothers and sisters in arms, today's ceremony is very symbolic, but the reason and execution are very substantive. Symbolic because deployment of 2nd Cavalry Regiment of US Army to scale up forces from the battalion to brigade is a confirmation that the commitment 
May and the Madrid NATO summit are being implemented. It symbolizes the spirit of the alliance, which is shown with powerful set of seven words. Attack on one is attack on all. Greeting shock exercise is, first of all, a very practical and useful training of HOTO and integration process over incoming NATO forces. This process is not described in details in NATO doctrines, so the lessons from our exercise will be used in the future. Ladies and gentlemen, the first stage of the integration, integration process is behind us, which went quite smoothly in spite of some unexpected, unexpected changes. Thank you for your great commitment so far. Sir, ladies and gentlemen soldiers, exercise such as Griffin Shock is an opportunity to conduct high-end and realistic life training, test and validate current and future interoperability and capabilities, as well as refine tactics, techniques and procedures. Through such trainings, we can demonstrate commitment to our collective contribution to regional stability and security. For next days, we will work together to build the cooperation between all of, of the subordinate units and the ability to conduct tasks in the real world. We train as we fight. We are ready today, preparing for tomorrow, adapting for the future. Follow me.